Ah, I have access. Hello, hello, hello. So we want to look at Classic Vault Outfits Pack. Now I'm going to show, this is from the Fried Turkey. Let's see, is there anything here? Nope. This is from the Fried Turkey, okay? And there's some other people here that helped out in different ways. So, I'm going to do both a male and female on this, so bear with me. I'm probably going to go straight to Jenny first because it's the easiest. He's there and ready. But then I will create a guy and we'll look at him on him as well. But this mod basically gives us a bunch of vault outfits, which are different from the, I guess, the vanilla game outfit. This is uh, about 100 megabytes. And the pictures look pretty good. You can get these by crafting them at the chem station. So I'm really not going to, you know, it says you can modify the number on the back too, using the armor workbench. So it says you will also come across a surprise me and grill put in. I, okay, so there's something else there that we may not be aware of. But we'll pull up the armor workbench and see if we can find it, okay? All right, so I'll see you in the game in a moment. All right, as I said, we're here on Jenny. We're here at the chem station. Let's pop in and see if we can make these outfits. I'm assuming, ah, oh, here we go, vault outfits, right? Looks good. So this is armored vault tech, tunnel snake, vault tech yeah! jet suit. Lab uniform, security armor, helmet, and a jumpsuit. So, okay, they went through a number of different things here. So, let's just uh, let's just take a look at the basics before we get into anything else. We we'll get uh, take her cap and glasses off, and then we'll look at some of these ball tech things. Oh, she has too much stuff in her inventory, doesn't she? So let's just take a look at the jumpsuit here. Okay, that looks good. That's Vault Tech 101, right? This is a lab uniform. Okay. So basically the vault tech with a lab coat over it. This is the security armor. Okay. Now let's see. Yep, that's a whole outfit. And then this is the utility jumpsuit. Got the sleeves rolled up for working, right? And then the helmet, if you need the helmet. That goes more with the security though. So it'd be like this. And it does remove your hair, but I don't think that's a huge deal. Alright, so that's what we have. Let's see what we can do with these things. Wait, wasn't there an armored version? Hold on, let me roll up. I think we missed something. Yeah, there is an armored version. And... Eh, uh, eh, it's not symmetrical and it just looks weird. <laughs> That's me. I mean, to me, it's like, um, okay, I guess. That's not even really very armored. It's just got some leather stuff on weird parts. Okay, okay. That's fine, though. That's If you like it, you know, you can use it. <laughs> I'm going to go to the workbench here, and we're going to see what we can do. So here it says no miscellaneous. You can choose a miscellaneous thing. Um, I'll go, don't set me on fire, please. And then the vault number, you can change your vault number. Now this is similar to the Creation Club mod that we have, except this looks to be, it stops at 118. And it skips some numbers, you'll notice. I'm okay with that. Um, at least it's got my favorite 88. So there we go. So there we're from Vault 88. See that? All right. 
I don't know what else might be in the armor workbench. They made out like there would be something special here. So let's look at the jumpsuit. The jumpsuit is the same as the other. Well, no, it's not. This is a different resistance, isn't it? Okay, we'll do shielded lining. And we'll just say we're from Vault. We're unlucky 13. How's that? Okay. And then there, now it changed the name to Shielded Vault. You know, blah, blah, blah. And then, wait, wasn't there a tunnel snake? There was a tunnel snake, and we did not try it. This has a different, we'll say we're from Vault number nine. Number nine? Hold on, I want to see the tunnel snake. I don't think we looked at, looked at that. Oh, okay, you just get a brown leather jacket over the top. Okay. Well, that's fine. I won't say that's... It's fine. It looks different. The lab uniform also gives you ballistic weave. I don't know how they decided on ballistic weave for some of that. Now, the tunnel snake outfit doesn't show your vault number, so I don't know that that matters so much. Mm, let's see. Okay, ultra light field. Vault 15 security armor. Okay. Ball number 101. No, must be 22. Just to be difficult, I guess. Alright, so, okay, so we get some options here. Not anything, you know, I didn't see anything special. Unless it's the tunnel snake, maybe. Is that what they're referring to, maybe? I, I don't know. So we changed it up a little bit, though. The helmet, I didn't even see that come up on the armor workbench. Let's just take another look. No, I don't see that you can change the helmet, so it is what it is. But the lab uniform, we, we modified it a little bit, not that you can tell. But it does have some better damage resistance and that sort of thing. The utility jumpsuit is similar, but it does show the number on the back. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Oh, they do give you the number on the back. It's 15 back here. Okay, that works fine. And then we looked at the Tunnel Snake, and we have the Shielded Vault 13. Alright, so anyway, here's the basic Vault Tech jumpsuit. For 101, I didn't do anything to this, just to revisit this and go back to this. Uh, so now we're going to move over, and we're going to get a guy... And take a look at these and see how they look on him. These do have their own distinctive look. I think they're nice. Uh, they look good. They all look a little old and faded. And, you know, looks appropriate for the game. So, we'll um, go get John or make somebody new. Whatever I need to do. And I'll be right back. Alright, so we're here on John. We're going to flip up some outfits for him really fast. Just showing you again where this is. Down here in the vault outfits. We'll just see how these look on him. We don't even have to go through all the other stuff. We can just check it out. See how it looks. He'll be our model for the day here. Let's uh, let's go out here. 
Maybe over here, if the, the robots aren't too noisy, maybe this will work for us. Gives us a good background. Let's see. Um, the Tunnel Snake outfit. Wait, we have the Armored Vault 101. Let's do that. Okay, so looks good. Yeah, if you like that, I think that looks fine. The Tunnel Snake outfit. Again, I'm not sure <laughs> why that is, but okay, that's, that's fine. This is just the basic outfit, which I think looks good. The lab uniform. The security armor, and I'm going to throw on the helmet. There we go. You could always go through the world with that on, I guess. Let's look at the jumpsuit. We'll get rid of the helmet for a minute. And that's with the sleeves rolled up. See, ready to go to work. And anything else? That's pretty much it. This is, I guess... Oh, wait, that's the original. Sorry, that has nothing to do with this mod, so my apologies. So, this is the... The mod version. This is the basic mod version, which I think it looks good. Look at the boots. The boot. Oh man, it's so hard to see their their boots. But see his boots there. Good work boots. Those look good. I don't know if we noticed that on Jenny, but those are those are good solid work boots. Look good. If you do compare it with the original, and look at the boots. Come on. Sometimes the camera does not want to cooperate. You see, those boots don't look as good. The other boots look like better work boots, in my opinion, even though these look fine. But I think the uh, the ones from the mod there look a little better. I just think those look a little better. Depends on what you like, though. Overall, I think these are a good addition. If you like these outfits, now, you can... You know, upgrade them somewhat at the workbench. I didn't see the special thing they were talking about. Maybe I just missed it. Um, maybe we have to look at something other than just the armor workbench. But the armor workbench was what they mentioned, so. Let's go back here and check it one last time. Alright, I didn't see anything else, so we're just going to roll with this the way it is. It looks good overall. It's up to you. You just have to look at it and decide if you think these are good. In a way, these are probably more realistic. You'll notice how they they fit. They're not perfectly skin tight or anything, and you know they look like a uh, an overall type of uniform that would be worn. It seems pretty realistic to me. Again, the coloring and stuff a little faded, maybe a little dirty. Like it's been around for a while, which kind of makes sense, right? Okay, let's hop out and take a look at the mod. Alright, so this has been the Classic Vault outfit, Outfits Pack. Uh, about 100 megabytes from the fried turkey. Looks good. I think it looks nice. Just depends on what you like. If you like this in your game, I think they look good. Um, you can change the numbers on them, which is nice. Um... So, uh, you can upgrade them. You can have different ones that have different uh, um, specs, I guess you'd say, or different modifications to them. So, some of them you may like better than others. So, you know, you can give it a whirl and see what you think, okay? All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you later. So, I want to acknowledge these people who donate to the channel, who support the channel. They put their money where their mouth is, and I really do appreciate that. So thank you to these folks, and thank you to everyone for watching and supporting the channel. This has been an How That Smarts production.